Welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be doing the last Walking Dead Q&A video, leading up to, of course, tonight's episode of The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 7, Open Your Eyes. All right, guys, so of course I want to do t uh, today's uh, last Walking Dead Q&A video leading up to The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 7, which is, of course, Open Your Eyes, which is, of course, tonight on premiere. So, uh, super excited for The Walking Dead tonight. Really, really excited to see what they do with it. Of course, my review will be up, uh, as usual, on Sunday nights after the airing on uh, cable. So, we only got two episodes left this year, and, uh, you know, I just want to say uh, real quick that because we're getting close to the break really soon, I always do this every year, uh, for people that are new to the channel, I I've been, you know, doing Walking Dead videos since like 2016, but for people that are, you know, that have just been watching the channel, I don't know, for a little while, um, and kind of don't know how this goes, I do switch off a little bit with the Walking Dead content on the break. Uh, I do make at least a couple Walking Dead videos a week during the break, but it's not daily Walking Dead videos like it is when it's on, and that's just something, you know, people are just going to have to understand, because there's just not going to be enough content after about two weeks or so of Walking Dead to discuss, so I will have to kind of start talking about different things in this and that, but, um, I am very, very excited to see, uh, this episode tonight, and like I said, you know, just before I get into it, um, there will be a channel update video where I do discuss, uh, the channel, uh, you know, and kind of what to expect from The Walking Dead break. Uh, that video will be posted, I think, a little bit after the mid-season finale. So, uh, or maybe even before, I don't know, something like that. So, in about a week's time, I should do a video kind of letting you guys know what to expect for the break uh, on the channel, since The Walking Dead is probably one of the most important things we do on this channel. I also do, of course, uh, videos on uh, Breaking Bad and other movies and this and that, and Game of Thrones and this and that, Stranger Things, but um, this is really going to be the time of year where Walking Dead takes a bit of a more back seat. So, just to kind of give everybody a heads up on that. But, uh, and any, you know, suggestions for any videos during the break? I mean, man, leave them right now, honestly, because, uh, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited to, uh, you know, to see what you guys want me to do during the break for The Walking Dead, because uh, honestly, uh, you know, I have some ideas, but not, not you know, many. So anyway, um, let's get into and let's discuss uh, today's Walking Dead Q&A. You guys left some questions. So let's do the last Walking Dead Q&A for The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 7, starting off with the first question. First one comes from Epic Zombie Killer, who says, Between the Walking Dead comic book series Pike Moments versus the uh, Pike Moments we got in the Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 15, uh, Epic Zombie Killer wants to know um, whether or not I like the comic version more or the TV uh, series version more. So, um, brutal, brutal scene. So, definitely, I mean, I don't think I like either one because it's just, you know, it's brutal to see all these characters just killed like that, you know? But, um, you know, if, if I'm going to have to pick one, I think it was better, uh, it was done a little bit better in, um, a TV show type of, uh, you know, feel, because you had the sad music, you had the, the showing of them in the burn, you had the, 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 you know, the pikes and kind of the dramatic music as they find it, and they're all like, oh no, you know, like, they're all kind of freaking out, Daryl, you can see, like, he's almost ready to cry, and this and that, it's just the feel of it, you know, um, I don't know what it is, it's just so cool, and there was a lot of wind blowing around, so the heads, you know, some of their hair was moving, it's, oh, I just, I just love it, I thought it was so well done in the TV series version, um, however, it's difficult, because I feel like the one, the characters they picked in the TV series were not as good as the characters they picked in the comics, see, so, you, that's kind of my way to respond, is that I like the, the way it was done, and the way it was filmed in the TV show, especially because of the music and this and that, um, and Sadiq's speech and this and that afterwards, I think was all better in the TV show, but the characters they picked in the comics were better, so maybe the comic is better because of the characters they picked, but in terms of the feel and both versions, I love the feel of the TV series version of the Pikes more, so complicated answer, I know, but that's, that's how I, uh, that's how I answer this one, to be honest, so thank you very much, Epic Zombie Killer, for the question. Next one, uh, next question comes from Epic Zombie Killer as well, and he says, uh, which version of The Walking Dead do you like better? So this is, this is a loaded question. The comics or the TV series? Okay. I thought about this a lot, and I, I do, I do have an answer for this, I do. Um, I'm gonna leave this for a video. Um, and I know, I know you're gonna be like, well, I asked the question, this and that. I have a special video coming up about that during the break that I, I'm planning on doing for like a Christmas special where we compare uh, the, uh, the 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 worst and best parts of the comic and the worst and best parts of the TV show and how many how many events are are better in the comics and how many events are better in the TV show and which whichever one has the better uh, the most amount of better you know interpretations of a storyline. 
wins. And that's, I know that's, you know, that's something that you guys are probably like, oh, that's, you know, that's, that's a video that uh, you haven't made before. And yeah, um, I'm going to make like a, like a type of video where I compare it, you know, prison storyline, stuff that happens at the prison versus the prison storyline in the TV series. What is better and why? So for Epic Zombie Killer, your question will be answered, but it will not be right now. But I do want to just say that video is coming up. And all I can say is I freaking love the comic and the TV show so much. It's going to be very difficult to pick, but stay tuned for that video. It's going to be during the break. So yeah, look forward to that. Next question also comes from Epic Zombie Killer, who says, uh, I'm surprised they didn't make any Funko Pops for the Walking Dead TV series, uh, or comic book series, sorry. Uh, and he says, uh, he mentions kind of how, uh, you know, he would like to see, you know, comic, uh, comic Funko Pops made. And he asked me, which ones would I like if they did, uh, Walking Dead comic, uh, Funko Pops? So, uh, they do make Funko Pops off of comic, you know, stuff. Uh, for the Walking Dead, I don't know, I, I mean, I don't know, that's, that's difficult. But, um, if, if I had to pick, like, let's say, like, like, I'll pick five for this video. So, if I had to pick five uh, comic Funko Pops for them to make, you guys can do this as well if you guys want to in the comments. Um, I would probably pick, we gotta get a Rick. I, I think uh, the Rick, um, I'd probably pick like, like all out war Rick, you know, with like the, 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 the gray shirt, the long beard, long hair, and, uh, you know, the, uh, the stump, not the, 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 the fake hand, but just the stump, you know, with the wrap and this and that. Um, yeah, I, I think that'd be good. Uh, and then I, we need to get an Andrea, of course. Uh, maybe like a Fear the Hunters version of Andrea. Uh, Negan, we gotta get a, a Negan Funko Pop from the comics. But that's the thing, I feel like it would look a lot like the TV show version. But, but anyway, uh, and then, um, well, maybe not. But anyway, uh, and then of course, uh, I got two left. Uh, uh, Governor, I think would look really cool with like the riot gear, the, the missing arm, you know, and this not just the stump. Uh, I forget which arm it is, but um, and then the eye patch on the other one, and the long hair, and the the, the yeah, that'd be cool. And then um, and if I had to pick one more, I, I think I'd have to go with the Carl after that, right? And then um, you'd have like the the eye shot out all the way to here, because in the comic, man, there's like the there's like the eye shot out all the way to here, and this it's crazy. Um, and I would have him have the hat on and that big huge machine gun or whatever, uh, and uh, it'd be like the version where he attacks Negan at the Sanctuary in the comic version or whatever. That'd be pretty cool. So, um, and uh, yeah, so those are five, of, uh, I do believe, yeah. So those would be the five. Rick from All Out War, Andrea from uh, Fear the Hunters, the governor from the uh, the, uh, the Made to Suffer prison storyline in the comics, um, Negan from the, his introduction, and Carl when he tries to uh, to kill Negan with that huge, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, machine gun or whatever at the sanctuary from the comic. Those are the ones right there I'd probably pick. So, um, you know, write yours in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys think about that for sure. Next question comes from Brian Archam, who says, uh, how many, so he want he wants me to basically answer, um, so obviously we're, we see Stephanie in the, you know, the radio or whatever in this episode, uh, and he kind of mentions Maggie and, you know, how she probably is at the same community as Stephanie, and if so, wouldn't she just show the group, uh, you know, the Commonwealth or whatever in the TV show version, so I feel like they could even use that for Brian Archam, I feel like in the TV show, they might even use Maggie's return as kind of the thing to bring them to the Commonwealth, because... I still don't think it's impossible that Georgie isn't our, our Pamela for the TV show. I still don't think it's impossible. And that'd be cool because then be like, oh, I remember her. Like for casual viewers, like, oh, I remember her. She's running this, this you know, Commonwealth place. Like for TV only viewers, I think that'd be really cool. But comic viewers, we would know what they're trying to adapt, right? But um, I don't know. I think Maggie could be actually the character that brings our group to the Commonwealth in season 11. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say she does. But uh, yeah, and I do b actually believe that Maggie probably does know uh, the character that Eugene is talking to. I'm going to say she does. Uh, would you imagine if Maggie's like, hey, who are you talking to? And she's like, who is this? And then Eugene answers and this and that. That'd be, that'd be sick. And then maybe that's the way they kind of introduce Maggie. That would be awesome, to be honest. I would love that. So, but anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So thank you guys so much for the questions. Of course, I want to say a huge thank you to uh, Brian Archam. Epic Zombie Killer, uh, Eastside Badger this week as well, uh, and uh, David Fairley for the theories, and just a bunch of other people as well. I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody. I'm sure I probably missed a few, but uh, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody for asking some Q&A questions, coming up with some awesome theories about The Walking Dead, awesome Q&A questions, and uh, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited for The Walking Dead Episode 7 tonight. I hope you guys are excited for it. Hope you guys enjoy it, and of course, um, I'm going to leave the video here. So, thank you very much for the questions. If you want to participate in the next Walking Dead Q&A, I won't be doing one for a few days, but uh, I will be doing, of course, uh, some Q&As leading up to the mid-season finale, which the Q&As for that will start uh, either Monday or Tuesday. So, anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Write your comments in the comment section below. And, of course, uh, some channel news coming up pretty soon about what we're going to be doing during the break. Uh, probably in about a week's time, I'll upload that video. And, um, 
you know, until then, enjoy The Walking Dead tonight, guys, and of course, uh, you know, uh, no spoilers, please, by the way, in the comments, because I, uh, I have already heard some spoilers for tonight's episode, I'm not gonna lie, so, anyway, guys, uh, if you're new here, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my Walking Dead videos, and of course, I will catch you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video, enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and enjoy The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 7 tonight, peace out, guys.